Yes, sir. Look at how swaggy he is. He don't give a fuck. On to the guide, and god dang, it's a good one. Now, there's no wrong way to level Hawk's quirks due to the fact that they are all top tier quirks. However, I choose to start out with the beta, Wind Cross, for my hyper aggressive gameplay. I know you guys really want to level that alpha first, but I get so many more kills from my Wind Cross more than I do those alpha feathers. So I always start off leveling up my Wind Cross to level 9. And then I move on, once again, not to the alpha, but then I move on to my Storm Wings ability, which is the Gamma. Leveling up this ability to level 9 next allows you to have more rounds for it and a bigger AoE, and this is such an easy ability to hit. You need to be leveling this one up quickly. It is underuse of the Hawks that I've been playing against today. Day, go ahead and level this one up before your alpha and finally we get to level up that alpha to level 9 finish up our abilities and I'm gonna explain why we save this one for last a little bit later into the video now the first thing I want to point out is how that Hawk's camera has slightly more vertical range than other characters allowing him to have better visuals and aiming when it comes to his aerial attacks but he is then slightly lacking on the horizontal camera view range the alpha skill is a machine gun fire quirk that tracks his opponents. The higher you level up, the more feathers shoot horizontally. One of the reasons that we don't level this quirk first is that as useful as it is, it is really easy to dodge if you know it's coming. Now, you can aim down sights and shoot this to force it to shoot at a significantly higher rate, but it's gonna force the bullets to shoot in a straight line. So if you're missing those tracking rounds and you're really confident in your aim, go ahead and aim down sights and shoot this and it's gonna shoot them straight forward. This is also going to be your primary tool for finishing opponents. Hawks is high tier at finishing opponents quickly. You primarily want to do that aim down sights, get that higher fire rate, and it finishes the opponent in like two to three seconds it's so fast. This is a mid to long range quirk. It's not going to be shooting across the map or anywhere crazy, but it's still got some really good distance to it. You can still hit people from a really good range. You jump and dash or use Hawk's special action, which allows him to fly, and you can fulfill your dream of becoming an Akkad AC-130. Enemy AC-130 above. Just to note, if you try to ADS while doing this, you will immediately start falling. Two quick pro tips. Shoot your alpha around bushes to home in on hiding enemies. And always expend your full alpha rather than waiting for it to reload. You reload much faster by using all of this ammunition first. Now Hawks' beta skill is his bread and butter. If you use your beta, you dash forward with a quick melee, and if you aim it upwards, you can use it to get that verticality, which works well with your special action fly to be able to rain down the enemies or just use it for escape. If you hit someone with your beta, it puts you in a free flight mode, which spamming the beta again in this mode strikes with a heavy damaging melee dash attack. When you use the follow-up beta strikes, the strike cuts any rounded corners you may be making and follows your camera perfectly. So if done right, you can get three beta hits before you even knock someone down. After the third beta hit, I like to fly in the air, wait for the invincibility frames to run out, and then finish them up with the last beta hit available. Here's a quick melee, 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 plus beta, beta combo. You're gonna to wanna to use that first beta immediately after melee, and then just spam the beta afterwards constantly. You're gonna hit that second beta by flipping that camera instantly after hitting the first beta 180 degrees, and it should hit every single time. True combo. Lastly, your gamma is a heavy damaging mid to long range attack. The range is either similar distance to the alpha or ever so slightly further, but I believe it's slightly further. The AOE portion of this ability does not do damage, but it does track individuals for your entire team so that they can see exactly where that person is, even through walls. But again, the only portion that does damage is when you actually hit them with the feathers of the attack. However, the AOE does hit people on the opposite side of walls, so it goes through walls for tracking. This skill is great for team comp and needs to be used as much as possible to help your team concentrate and focus enemies. You can also use it to track Muriel when he's underground. Pro tip, look out for moments to use your special action to save your teammates at all times. They can also fire down at people while you're holding them. That's all I got for you guys. We finally hit 1,800 subscribers, so as a reward to you guys, I'm gonna be giving you a $25 gift card that's gonna be hidden in the next video, so subscribe so you can take my money. Please give me 2,000 subscribers. It's your boy HT, we out. Hey, yeah. High Tower Army Gaming